Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Sex Talk with Sharonda. We are going to get started this morning. I'm going to give everyone a chance to log in. Let's see. And I want to make sure this is turned down. The volume. I want to make sure I can see your comments. And I want you all to make sure you turn on your notifications. That way when I'm going live, you can actually see um, me going live and you can actually see the video because what happens is um, I will go live and because you don't get the notification, you miss the video. Okay, so... I just want to make sure that I can see the comments and everything that everybody is saying. But today's topic is sometimes men like to play stupid. And if you have seen this or experienced this at any point in your relationship, I just need you to kind of raise your little hand, do a little wave. Let me know that you've seen it, experienced it, heard it, thought about it, saw it. Just let me know because these type of videos, we, we engage with each other, okay? Men sometimes like to play stupid, like they don't know or they didn't know or, oh, I ain't know, but... It's always amazing to me how when it's something concerning them, they play stupid like they ain't know. But when it come down to you and what you got going on, they know everything that's going on. And they got all the answers and they see everything and they observing everything concerning you. But when the shoe is on the other foot, oh, I ain't know. This that playing stupid. This that gaslighting. This that um, basically trying to make it not mean as much as we saying that it means. So, this morning, I was up because normally my husband and I, we get up pretty early. We get up, you know, between 5 and 6 o'clock in the morning is when we get up. And we were just talking and we was having a conversation and... um. I was telling him about something that I seen on Facebook or something that I seen or whatever. And his response was, well, you know, sometimes men don't be knowing when women flirting with them and men don't be knowing what it mean when women talking to them and, and men don't be knowing. But at the same time, my response was, well, all you got to do is put the shoe on the other foot. If this was going on with the person, if this was going on with somebody that you cared about, all you got to do is put the shoe on the other foot. In other words, would you want somebody to have that type of conversation with me? Well, you know that it's not, if, if it's not acceptable for them to have that type of conversation with me, then look like somewhere along the lines, you would know that it's unacceptable for someone to have that conversation with you. That's how you know if it's acceptable. Okay? So, we were talking and I say, but let me tell you something. Most times, when some shit about to go on, a lot of times, men are warned that you might want to stay away from that or you might want to do this and that different. But sometimes they don't take heed to the warning. About 10, 11 years ago, and I say that because I always base everything around Madison. I know we bought our house the month, like two months after Madison was born. So Madison is 12, so we've been there 12 years. Okay, we was, 
had I had just graduated with my master's degree. He had just bought me a Yukon, brand new. We had just closed on our house. Like all of this stuff went on around the same amount of time. You know how it is when you get a new house. Your friends come over, people come over. And there was this particular friend that was there and one of their family members contacted them and they said, oh, I'm right here, I'm right around the corner. Pass over here and come pick up whatever it is they had to pick up. Fine. So you know how it is when a woman comes into your house and she see how your house is and she see how you living and she see that, you know what? This particular man is doing really well for his family. I know that this man is married because I'm in his house with him and his wife meeting up with one of my family members, but I also observed that this particular brother is handling business, neither here nor there. Then a couple of weeks later, this same person decides that they want to host a fun party. Now this was way before we had the PPG store. This was when I was literally working from my truck. This was when I was working for the state still doing child support enforcement. But I was doing these parties. This business had literally just started. I had just started with this particular business. Saying all of that to say this, the person contacted their family member and say, hey, I need you to give me the information to get in touch with them because I want to host a party. Their family member gives them my husband's number because that's the only number that they have for us. Because he doesn't have my number. So the young lady proceeds to contact my husband about the party. My husband says, well, let me let you talk to Sharonda because that's what she do. She do the party. Husband contact, co connects me with this woman. He right there when I call her. Hello, ma'am, how you doing? Yes, this is the process to book the party. This is the cost for the party. This is what you need to do, so on and so forth. In other words, it's a business conversation. She then contacts my husband back because she needed a reason to say, I would much rather deal with you because your wife was rude to me. Now, my husband lets me know that this person contacts them and said that they would much rather deal with him then deal with me because they felt like I was rude. And I, at that moment, right then and there, told my husband, she full of shit and you full of shit too because I was never rude to this woman. All I did was tell this woman the process to book the party. But he falls into the trap and say, well, I do feel like you could have been a little more nice or you could have been a little more of this, so you could have been a little more of that because it, it did. If I was booking the um party, I probably would have felt some type of way too. And my thing is, you know me, you know my personality, you know I am very direct, you know that I am very cut and dry, meaning that I'm not about to be ha ha ha, he he he, it's business. I'm giving you my process. I don't know what else to do other than if a person contact me and say, how do you go about doing this? I'm going to give you the directions. And that's that. I'm not necessarily friendly, but I'm not necessarily put. In other words, I'm just being myself. I'm not being rude to you. I'm giving you the process. So I later, when, when, when he tells me that, my, my words to him, and y'all, I really believe in being transparent. And I really believe in using my life to be a teacher to others. My words to him right then and there was, let me let you know something. That woman ain't interested in booking no damn party. That woman is interested in needing a reason to contact you. She's not interested in doing a party with me. She's not interested in none of that. This woman is interested in you. And you falling for it. You, you, you falling for the bait, meaning that 
she needed to contact you again because your wife was rude. When I said them words, this is where the gaslighting comes in. Oh, you're just being insecure. Now, now, mind you, during this time, this is when I was the heaviest that I had ever been in my life. So my thing is, I'm, I'm very, I know who I am. Yes, I'm 350 pounds. Yes, I'm a big ass woman, but you're not about to make me out to be insecure because I'm overweight. I'm not insecure about my marriage or my relationship with you. I'm not around here saying that this person want my husband, this person want my husband, this because I'm overweight and this is that the other, and I'm insecure. No, 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 no. I'm not insecure. I'm calling it like I see it. But men have a way of acting like they stupid and they act like they can't see shit for what it is. And then they want to try to make you out to be like you can't see it for what it is either. They will gaslight you and try to create an illusion that this is not what you think it is and you're not seeing this the way you should be seeing it. And at that point, I was very offended because I don't like when people play me to be stupid. I was very offended. So this turned into a, a really bad argument between us because I know goddamn well I'm not insecure. And I know goddamn well I see shit for what it is. But men will have a way of acting like they can't see it. Months went on. Now it's basketball season. You know men get together for basketball season. And at this particular time, this particular friend that my husband had was a bachelor. So his house was, I guess, where they went to go watch the game at, right? Now, mind you, I'm his wife, and I don't believe that I got to be on my husband's coattail every time he leaves the house. So he going to watch the game. It's basketball season, and this is what him and his friends doing. They watching the game. Hey, well, me go watch the game because I don't watch basketball. I will watch football before I watch basketball. I'm not a basketball person. Okay. Now, I don't ask who all over there when you watch a basketball because I ain't, I ain't insecure like that. I don't care. But it's week after week after week and my husband is going to watch basketball. Cool. You with your friend. This bitch gets bold enough to send a message in the inbox on Facebook trying to make sure you're going to be there. You mean to tell me the same person who I said ain't interested in booking no party and this person is interested in getting to know you? Inboxing you? Talk to asking if you gonna be over there watching the game? Oh no, not this same person that I said was interested in you. That you tried to make it like I was fucking crazy and didn't know what the fuck I was talking about. Not this same person that's trying to make sure you gonna be there. Is this bitch doing a roll call for everybody to come over to her brother's house? Let me know. Because this shit don't look right to me. Is this the same bitch that we had the argument about? Because all of this shit led to us falling out. Men will play stupid. If you let them play stupid. You know what my response was? You got fucking cable at your house. You got a house. You got a flat screen TV. You got a living room. You got everything you need. Watch the game at your own goddamn house. But when we take on this persona and we take on this role to put our foot down, a lot of times we get labeled as bitter, mean, and all this. But what happens is a lot of times men will play on this play like they stupid, like they don't see the play and they don't see what's going on because a lot of times they're trying to leave that gate open. I said it. And I'm talking about my own relationship. A lot of times 
men enjoy these compliments. A lot of times they enjoy these bitches getting in their ear, tickling their ear, even if they don't have intentions on acting on it, they don't want to shut this shit down. So they will play like they stupid because they don't want to shut it down. But I shut that shit down. And I called the fuck a spade a spade. And here it is, 12 years later, damn near, I brought that same situation back up this morning. When you want to sit up there and tell me sometimes men don't know. That is some bullshit to me. Men know. You know what it is? Sometimes they done been told and sometimes they don't want to take heed to the warning. They know. They hear. They see. They see shit just like we see it. I'm going to flip the script. There was a person that was a customer. And this customer used to come here all the time. And they used to spend money. But when you in business, a lot of times you'll realize that some customers come by because they like to chat. They chatty. They like to chat. I'm very professional in, in my setting. Meaning that I know how not to cross the line with people. I know how to be able to listen I know how to be able to take a compliment. I know how to be able to do all of that and understand that business is still business. Well, this particular customer used to come by here so much to the point where my husband was like, what they always over there for? And I said, well, they always coming over here talking and shooting the shit. My point is, I had to ask that customer, why are you always coming here? Because the thing is, sometimes the person on the outside looking in can see shit for what it is. That's my whole reason for bringing that up. Sometimes the person on the outside looking in can see the motive. But the thing is, when the outside, the person that's on the outside looking in, they bring to your attention the motive. It's up to you to take heed. And when it was brought to my attention that this don't really look good, I handled it accordingly. Meaning, this ain't the dude drop in. If you come in the shop and spend money, then come and shop and spend money. But I don't need nobody here keeping me company all day long because I'm a married woman. So, I wanted to make this video this morning because I want you to understand that People have a way of playing stupid. And people have a way of wanting to have their ears tickled. And the thing is, this, this situation with the customer that was coming here to the store, it was never an inappropriate conversation. I'm going to talk about product, how it worked, the function, and all of this kind of stuff. But it'll never be no conversation about where you're trying to get to know me on a personal level. Okay? The difference is, with this particular woman, this woman, again, knew my husband was married. And she felt like, I'm about to go all the way around your wife, in your wife's face. So, men have a way of playing like they stupid. But when they play like they stupid, I need you to check that shit. Okay? That's going to conclude Sex Talk with Sharonda. I want you to come in to the store, 9789 Florida Boulevard. We are here from 11 a.m. to 9 p.m. You can shop online, www.dppgstore.com. Place your orders online. We do offer two-day priority shipping. Um, and we should uh, have something set up really soon for those of y'all that want to do like Christmas pictures and stuff like that. We're going to have all of that stuff set up. We still have Halloween costumes. You still have time to place your orders for them online and have them delivered to you. Today is Tuesday. They will be to you by Friday at the latest. So more than likely they'll be to you on Thursday, but Friday at the latest. That is going to conclude Sex Talk with Sharonda. I want you all to be blessed. And again, y'all know I'm an open book. My life is a testimony. In other words, I use me to teach you. You all be blessed. 